Hi! Welcome back to my channel, improving from my previous video about ASRS Warehouse. In this video, I will show you ASRS Warehouse Simulation in Factory I.O. and connect to PostgreSQL as database. In controlling the Factory I.O. Warehouse Simulation, I use a PLC Siemens S7-1200 as dashboard and ASRS software to control operation of storage and retrieving. I use Node-RED and it connected to PLC for reading and writing PLC tags. And, as warehouse database, I use PostgreSQL, and it connected to Node-RED. This is the factory I.O. scene, you can select the automated warehouse scene from factory I.O. scene collection. In this scene, I add camera vision part to recognize the incoming material, and Node-RED will read this, then send to database when storage operation. From the emitter, there are nine kind of incoming materials. This is the factory IO driver configuration for PLC Siemens S7. This is PostgreSQL database. I use two tables in database, location rack, and master material table. In the table labeled location rack, it consists of the rack number field which will be filled with 54 rack numbers, followed by ID palette and storage time, representing the time during the storage process. In the master material table, there are several fields, including ID palette, name, value, image, and color. These are records in the master material, serving as a reference for nine types of incoming materials that will be stored in the warehouse. These records are static, and will not change. And these are records in the location rack table, which contain status information for each location. If a location is filled with material, it will have values in the ID palette and storage time fields. If it's empty, these fields will be null. Here is a Node-RED dashboard used as a visual information display for the warehouse's status, and for controlling the ASRS warehouse. There are some improvements from the previous version. It now includes information about incoming materials captured by a camera vision system. Each incoming material is displayed with an image of the material, its ID palette, material name, and a start storage button to initiate the storage process. In the retrieval section, before performing retrieval, we can select the material to be taken from the rack. Then, the data will be displayed, including the image, ID palette, name, and the rack location to be retrieved based on the storage time as a first-in first-out system. And a start retrieving button to initiate the retrieval process. This dashboard also includes location visualization that displays the status of each location. If a location has material stored, it will show a box with a color corresponding to the material stored in that location. In the location data section, there is a gauge that displays the percentage of total warehouse utilization and a bar chart showing the total value of material stored in the warehouse. Below, there is a table that displays data for each location that contains material. As an example, for an incoming pallet with the material being blue product base, when you click the start storage button, the system will determine the nearest available location. In this case, the material will be stored in location number 20. After the storage process is completed, the system will update the data, including the information in the table and the rack visualization to reflect the changes.
This is Automated Storage and Retrieval System ASRS simulation, where we can observe the interaction between the Node-RED dashboard and the simulation running in factory I.O. Starting from the incoming material, you can match what is displayed in factory I.O. with the information shown on the Node-RED dashboard to ensure they align. Once verified, you can click the Start Storage button to initiate the material storage process. After the storage process is completed, we can see the changes in the rack visualization. In location number 23, a box will appear with the color of the material that was just stored, indicating that this location is now occupied by the material. Let's proceed with the storage process for the next incoming material. Next, let's try the retrieval process. Choose the material blue product lid, and we will see information about that material, including the image, ID palette, name, and the location to be retrieved based on the first in first out order. Click start button to start retrieving process. After the retrieval process is completed, location number 7 becomes vacant. Next, we will initiate the storage process for incoming material. When we press the start storage button, the system will allocate storage location number 7, because it's the closest available space. We can compare the visuals displayed on the node red dashboard with the actual data in factory IO, and we can see that the material colors match.
In the ASRS system I've developed, every incoming material is scanned using a vision camera for material recognition. Subsequently, Note Red displays information about incoming materials waiting for storage. During the storage process, the system determines the nearest available location, records the data in a database, and presents it on the dashboard through gauges, tables, and visual representations. When performing retrieval, we need to select the material for retrieval. Based on storage time data, the system identifies which location to retrieve from, following the first-in first-out rule. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.